Bonjour et bienvenue à notre section de conjugaison. Today, folks, I would like to uh, conjugate the verb aimer, which is to like or to love, aimer in the past tense, also known as the perfect tense or in French as the passé composé. As I said before, when forming a passé composé, you need to know two things. You need to know the verb uh, avoir in the present tense, as in the auxiliary, to have in the present tense, and it's Past, the past participle of the verb you wish to conjugate. In that case, it's aimé. The past participle is aimé, not with the R, just with an accent on top of an E. Now, let's have a look at what it sounds like and look like. J'ai aimé. I liked or I have liked. Okay, that means both things. But it also means I loved and I have loved. Okay, remember that aimé means like and love in French. Tu as aimé. You liked or you have liked. Or you love and you have loved. I mean, you get the picture. Il a aimé. Il a aimé. Elle a aimé. On a aimé. On a aimé. Now remember, you can only form the passé composé if you know your auxiliary verb to have in the present tense very well. J'ai, tu as, il a, elle a. This should allow you to talk in the past tense. Nous avons aimé. We have liked or we liked or we loved. Nous avons aimé. Vous avez aimé. Again, aimé stays always the same. Vous avez aimé. Ils ont aimé. Ils ont aimé. Elles ont aimé. Okay, the sounds comes from the fact that il ends with an S and on begins with vowel. So we make what we call the liaison. Ils ont aimé, elles ont aimé. Okay, so this is the verb aimer in the passé composé form. Okay, if I were to use it in a sentence, okay, I could say, for example, um, J'ai aimé ce film. J'ai aimé ce film. I liked this film. Okay. I liked this film. If you wanted to say I liked it a lot, you could say J'ai beaucoup aimé ce film. J'ai beaucoup aimé ce film. Or you could say, I quite like it. J'ai bien aimé ce film. Okay, so, so uh, uh, as you see, um, if you want to say beaucoup and bien, you would put it after j'ai, but before the past participle aimé. Okay, so j'ai bien aimé ce film. J'ai beaucoup aimé ce film. Again, if you wanted to use the negation, which I have not taught you yet, is je n'ai pas Aimé ce film. I did not like this film. Okay, another example with aimé in the past tense, you could say, Nous avons aimé les pâtes de ta mère. <laughs> Random. We loved your mother's pasta <laughs> dish. Okay, nous avons aimé, we have liked or we liked or we loved, les pâtes de ta mère. Okay. Les pâtes meaning pasta, de ta mère, of your mother. So, your mom's pasta. Pasta. Pasta! And another example could be, Il a aimé aller au zoo. He liked going to the zoo. He enjoyed his trip to the zoo, that means, okay? Il a aimé aller au zoo. Okay? And you could just say, if he loved, the woman in the past, okay, il a aimé cette femme, he loved that, that woman. Il a aimé cette femme, mais il ne l'aime plus, but he doesn't love her anymore, okay? So, uh, Amy is quite versatile, I've just noticed, actually. You can use it in so many different aspects, and because it means like and love in France, you've got to, to be very careful the way you use it, okay? And it has an under meaning as well, some... some, some uh, Sometimes when you use it, okay? So, have a look at j'ai aimé, tu as aimé, il a aimé, 
and so on. Try to practice your passé composé of the verb aimer. It's dead easy. Why? Because aimer is a first group verb. It's what we call an, a regular verb. It's going to be conjugated the same way as all other ER verb. Okay? So that's it for me. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, in order to be kept updated to what goes on in Learn French with Alexa. Also, why don't you write a comment here and uh, with a, a sentence that you meant using the verb aimer in the passé composé. OK? Au revoir, à bientôt. Bisous, bisous.